All right, now we're looking at a <coughs> Epson Powerlight 680. And here is your top area for controls. Here is your display area right here. And I'm going to show you the connections. Basically, all the connections are pretty much covered up. And then you can take this off. And expose all the connections. <clears throat> this one has three HDMI connections. It has, you know, the regular um, VGA connection. And it has an audio connection, three and a half. I think it's a 3.5. I don't know which one exactly, but I think it's uh, it's got those. It's also got a mic connection. Um, it also has a monitor out and a serial connection and USB type B and a LAN connection. These are all useful. Um, if you have the resources and the items to use them with like, you know, uh, presentation, you know, devices and all that, they would work well, really, really well here. Um, it also is very clean when you mount it you can actually hide your cables if you wanted to by covering this up uh, i've used this um several times just to show people what it's like and just about everybody is kind of like yeah that's pretty cool i wish i had one and all that but i definitely encourage you again if you've never had a short throw projector um give a short throw a try um it's worth it in my opinion Instead of spending all that money on a huge, you know, TV, if your goal is to just basically watch your, you know, <clears throat> TV and movies and play games and stuff, just just stuff that we all, you know, do all the time. It's not a bad idea to have one of these. Um, it saves you money compared to a bigger, big screen TV. And it also gives you a big display size uh, for what it is. Um, I definitely definitely recommend these if you find them um i've enjoyed mine uh i've cleaned it up a little bit it wasn't very dirty but it i cleaned it up a little bit um tested it out with a few other things and it still works very well so i'm happy with uh this one um but right now we're looking to give this one to someone in my family and so i will be saying goodbye to this very soon but again these are uh, epson 680s uh they're a step up from the 480s uh and some of the main things you can see is um it's it's all those extra hdmis and there's a little bit of a resolution i believe uh it's better the light is better it's just basic stuff so let's go ahead and turn this guy on and see what it looks like all right i've plugged it in Again, you can use these controls to turn it on and off, or you can simply use a remote. Uh, let me go ahead and turn it on, just so you can see. And then we'll do the off and on test with the remote that I have. Again, just understand that I'm working in a really constrained space, so my screen but there you go. there it is uh displaying the main features um it tells you what's connected on the screen it also gives you a um QR code for the, uh, I believe, the app to manage it. Um, and let's check the menu out. And here's your menu. Let's go and see what it looks like on the inside. And move it down so that. This is the thing, guys, like with, with these projectors, you don't have to have them very far from 
the screen area that you want to project to to be able to see the information you want in a size that you'll able to see and basically it saves you space um if you really don't want to spend you know the space that you have with a huge tv you can always this one has let's see this one has about 1181 hours so this is roughly a half used lamp in this one um but again i said like i said i really enjoy these i i like having them around um and the controls are pretty easy to use everything is labeled marked and easy to access um as far as the distance from the wall it's literally you know inches this is two three inches from the wall and it's projecting a fairly large you know visible display um so if, if you need it in a real constricted space to get yourself a large screen and you don't want to like you know put up a tv on the wall these are perfect for that um there's you know pretty much not much more i can say this is these are really nice i definitely was lucky to find these and um i am happy to clean them up and pass them on to family and friends that would like one